been three and a half months since two people were killed and three others were wounded in a shooting outside of the Torch Club Bar and Grill. It's on Salt Springs Road on Youngstown's Lower West Side. One of those people killed was Ray Sean Clay, who would have celebrated his 24th birthday on Monday. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin this evening spoke with his father on how the family is coping. Raymond Spires is the father of Rashawn Clay. I spoke with him the morning of the shooting when the pain of losing his son was still too fresh to do a formal interview. Now he has a message for the community. I ain't gonna lie to you, it's been hard. He lives just down the street from the Torch Club on Salt Springs Road and can see from his back porch the place where his son died. Something he says is a daily painful reminder of what he lost. Every day I walk down to this store, I gotta be reminded how my son was butchered down there. Rayshawn's death has tested his faith. It'll lead you down some roads that you don't want to go. It tried to turn me back into the old me. Youngstown has faced an epidemic of gun violence this year. In 2021, Youngstown has had 114 shootings with 25 homicide victims. Many of those shootings are retaliation for a previous crime. The streets know who hurt my son. I try to stay spiritually grounded because it's so easy to put a gun in my hand and try to take street justice, but I won't go that way. Street vengeance is a vicious cycle Spires would like to see end. I used to be in the street, and every world they walking down, I already have been down it. Choosing instead to concentrate on the fond memories he had with his son. Some nights I just turn his music on, and you know, we play chess, and then you know, all them feelings come out, you know what I'm saying? And then if I want to cry a little bit, I does that. It's pain that I wouldn't wish on nobody. In Youngstown, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News.